I might bring something, something out. First game, if I get one, I might do something crazy. I can't lie. Just to master what I did last year and come back even better this year, uh, I feel like I had improved it extremely well on my jump shot this offseason and defensively. I picked up right where I left off at and being more of a dog, picking up 94 feet on some of the guards and just filling out the game more. My reads got better offensively. So. Different play styles, of course, two different players, but it, it's gelling really well. And, uh, It'll be, it's an easy transition, you know. It's not hard playing with unselfish guys. They both unselfish, so uh, in our system, it, it works really well. 
I say number one is the fans. Like I see that the fans are really like into you know basketball and um, Colonial being packed. Uh, I say it's the fans and um, just playing in SEC in the best you know conference uh, college basketball. Just having the confidence and the, the feel that nobody can score on you. Uh, you got to take pride in defense. Defense wins games. Uh, everybody can't be an offensive guy or score 20 points tonight. So you got to do something that's going to keep you on the court. And defense is one of the things that I've been picking up since my freshman year. With defense, be you on the court. Then offensively, the game will come. So me just having the confidence that nobody can score on me and just the dog mentality that defense just keeps my head up and I feel like I can do whatever. Nobody can score on me. Yeah, man, he just, um, I was already a smart player, but, like, he just makes me see the game, like, <clears throat> a whole different way. Like, he's just so, like, basketball-minded and he's so smart that he helps me see things that i I never seen. So it's just uh, me seeing the game differently and picking me different spots to go and when I can go and things of that nature. Just put my, myself and my family in a better position. Um, more beneficial for us at home. And I feel like being closer to home is probably the better idea. Um, at the end of the day, it was a tough decision to make, but ultimately it was a decision that was made. And I feel like I put myself in a good position. His feel for the game and the confidence that he has in his players. He believes in every, each and every one of his players and he'll build you up from the bottom to the top. Even if you're not athletic, you're not strong and the tallest, he's going to put in your mind that you can do whatever you, you want to do when you put your mind to it. So, so his ability to help us grow confident level and the ability to help us grow as players and young men. Um, you know, just really just looking at the little things he does, um, asking him questions day in and day out, just talking to him, seeing what he likes, um, seeing how he plays stuff, even a certain adjustment he makes, like from the smallest thing to a step forward, step back. But, you know, just asking him a lot of questions day in and day out. Um, honestly, he's probably been one of the bigger guys that I've talked to, um, just on and off the floor, just because similar position, similar style. And, you know, he, he's somewhere where I want to get to. I got a boy looking up at like the, the space and the, and the stars and everything. And a message to myself, run your own race. It's just like a thing to me, enjoying the journey, uh, keep on working, and then the world is yours. It's just a uh, Scarface reference. Uh, I have a lot of tattoos. Um, I got one on my leg. It say walk by, walk by sight. No, walk by faith and not by sight. Um, I'm growing my faith with God. I've been doing that with my girlfriend a lot, so that means something to me. And, Three, two, one. I live in Florida. So nobody really knows. I used to live in Florida, and I ninety five is where my auntie stays, and my grandma used to stay there when she was sick. So I got a couple tattoos that mean something to me. So, yeah. You know, it's just a little quote. You know, just what I go by day by day. Um, I'm lying, fear none, because don't fear nobody but God. Uh, <laughs> my love tattoo, loyalty, I value everything. Be loyal. Um, be the odds. So like I done beat the eyes. A little spider right here. Nothing too crazy. Uh, road to riches. Mm -hmm. Got me right here with a basketball, you know. Smooth. Uh, I don't know, I just, I was thinking one time in my bed, I was like, uh, like family wealth and things like that. And I just put my eye up here in my hand. And I just wanted to like, you know, the tree right here is like my family tree. And, uh, I just want to, you know, family wealth. Right here, mm -hmm. and just like an overall meaning, like be happy, be happy. Time to just be happy. And there it is. It's a J from my mother, Jennifer. And it's a grateful right here. I got a little cross on the back. Representing God.